Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to create a smart display. And to create this smart display, what I need is this uh, seven inch Raspberry Pi uh, LCD touch display. Uh, this is something that we need. And apart from this, I also need to have a Raspberry Pi in here. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B plus. It has like four different USB ports, um, you know, one Ethernet port, um, you know, this is my HDMI, this is my power. Here is my camera module. Um, here is my display module. And this is something that we need to have, um, you know, to attach this display in uh, with, with this, uh, you know, seven inch um, touch display. And it comes with this data cable uh, that I'm going to attach in here. It comes with four different uh, you know, jumper cable and we just need two of them. Uh, so this is the red one is the power and the black one is for the ground. But you know, you don't need to have uh, these two as well. It is uh, just another extension. If you want to run down uh, the power um, form from this guy, uh, from this board and also uh, uh, you know you if you want to power the raspberry pi uh, with a separate power then you don't need to attach these two jumpers and you should be okay right um, th so i'm gonna keep this away and i have four different screws to uh, you know attach this raspberry pi with uh, this uh, board in here and then i have a seven inch uh, you know raspberry pi cover so this is something that we're going to attach it to to cover and shield uh, from any damages uh, right for this one so let's begin with you know picking up this one so as you can see that this is my display in here um, and here what i'm going to do is keep it nice and clean and now so this section of this cable um, should go in here so you can see this this notch is little outside right so you should insert this cable right in here nice and clean okay and once you are done you just need to push it inside right so you should see that there are must be two clicks and here it is now secured so this has been done now what i have to do is i need to attach my raspberry pi now my raspberry pi uh, is running right now the latest version of uh, raspbian os uh, it's a full desktop version of the operating system now why the full version of the desktop operating system because we'll be running a magic mirror that will create a smart display in here and because of that we need to have the full version of the uh, you know the raspbian operating system with the desktop um, and i have already configured that so uh, you know i have inserted this uh, this micro sd card it's a 16 gb sandisk micro sd card um, which is running the operating system right now uh, it has ssh access it has already been pre-configured with magic mirror and also it has been pre-configured to do ssh if i want to do something uh, you know logging into this box right so this has to align uh, with this so you can see this display port so this display port should align with this board with this uh, cable in here so that this cable can attach nice and clean with this display port in here so i'm going to align this in here and then i'm going to do a I'm going to screw it in. Okay, so screwing up this um, Raspberry Pi board with this display has been done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this cable in into the display port section. Make sure that the notch is up right and then insert this all the way in where you can see that it's not going anymore right now i'm going to push this notch to tie this cable up right so that's been done now we need to attach this power so we're going to run 
the power only on the board itself only on the display itself and raspberry pi is going to get the power from the board itself so this is my board and this is my raspberry pi so i'm going to attach the power from here to the gpio pin in here with the jumper cable that you have seen and that's a way to you know have just a one single power to power up both of them so this is my actual power cable so this should go into the first pin of your board which is in here And here in Raspberry Pi, either pin number one from the right or pin number two should be good enough. So I'm gonna put this into the pin number one and I'm done. And for this ground cable, put that into, from the, from the left, put that into the first jumper cable. And then put this cable into the third from the right okay and that's the pin number six from the for the ground okay so now i'm gonna push this in nice and clean right okay and i'm gonna push this guy in a little bit inside so that my cover when i'm going to attach it it's going to be nice and clean right okay so i have attached the power and the ground uh, to this board and i'm going to run the power through this board to this raspberry pi okay uh, the only one disadvantage that you have is that you can see that this is the micro sd card and this micro sd card is basically getting obstacled uh, through this data cable in here but it's not that bad and you don't need to often you know remove this and even if you need to oh, remove this it's pretty uh, pretty nice as well okay so now what i have to do is align the screws in here so you can see that display a little bit of alignment needs to be done and then we will start putting down the screw where you can see that it's not so good a line but anyways it should be okay to push it in okay now it's been properly aligned easy right now to just push in the screws and i'm done screwing up all this okay. so here you go um, and then this needs to go in here so you can see this um, small round hole and this notch so this notch has to go in here and i'm done so there you go so it's a uh, you know it's a pretty nice cover to to secure the whole display in here now here you can see that this is another hdmi this is you know your uh, your input of your mic and speaker um, this is your power button uh, this is for this is a micro usb power for your raspberry pi and this is another micro usb power for your board so we are going to run the cable in here to power it up and we should be able to see so here, I'm going to run the 
the power. So I'm going to run the power for like you know five volt in here, and you can see that it is coming up. Raspberry Pi is booting up. You don't need to do anything with this, so it's like you know by default everything has been covered. But you know what you have to do is you need to install. You just need to install uh, the on-screen keyboard which i've already pre-installed in here and you can see that clicking on here go to accessories and then clicking on keyboard so this keyboard is required for you to run anything uh, you know from the command line like for this screen and the display the smart display what i have to do is i have to go to the command line because this is going to be running a magic mirror and the magic mirror is already pre-configured with this so go to here go to here to the main menu accessories and then click on the keyboard now go back in here and i'm going to run a couple of enter so that you can see the prompt in here so my enter is working out here so now i have to do cd space magic mirror And if you press tab, should be okay. Press enter. Um, and now we need to run npm run start. Right, and then press return. So this should run, start the npm server. Um, and this should start the magic mirror display. There you go. So the magic mirror is coming up. It's loading the modules. So here you can see that I have configured you know, four, five different modules. So here the first one is the uh, the, the calendar module, um, and the th second one is basically getting the UK bank holiday calendar. In in here is printing up in there. Um, and in the right hand side, this is the right now, this is the temperature, uh, this is the temperature weather forecast. Um, this is the, basically the current weather, this is the weather forecast, uh, this is the holiday calendar for the UK and uh, this is my current ca uh, calendar. And on the top, you can see that the news are uh, you know, scrolling up. So basically I have configured you know, two different news channels, one is the BBC for the UK and one is the Sky News for the UK. And these two are going to scroll uh, all, the whole day uh, to show the, the news up in here. So that's that's how it is. Um, in my next video, I will show you how to install this magic mirror and getting this uh, Raspberry Pi configured first uh, before you need to put this up uh, into the smart display. Uh, basically, it's a touch display and then you know go from there. And also, I'll show you how to install that, that on-screen keyboard that you need to have. Uh, obviously, you can run uh, a USB keyboard, uh, you know, from from in here. So you can attach a USB keyboard pretty easily in here, and then you can go from there. I also have uh, I also have configured the SSH, um, so I can do an SSH if you want, if I want to do uh, anything with this, or if I want to install or configure something else, I can do that as well. But yeah, so this is basically uh, what it is. It's a smart display, a magic mirror with a Raspberry Pi and a seven inch. Um, seven inch uh, in a touch display uh, for raspberry pi um, and this is basically under 100 uh, under 100 pound so raspberry pi you can get it from amazon at around like 35 36 uh, pound um, the screen and the the cover that you can get around another like 69 pound or something like that and that's about it so you can attach all of this run just a micro usb power um, to a five fold um, and you should be good enough to you know run your own uh, you know smart display uh, and then you know check uh, your you know weather forecast and you can you can run a different modules for the magic meter which i'm going to talk about it in the next okay
All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.